I needed to decorate this empty shelf, so I bought this waterfall of Amazon and called it a day. One small problem, it's a bit of a cop-out. Now, I have been known to make terrariums, and I've also been known to tear apart plastic terrariums. So let's make a terrarium, shall we? Um, Mr. Plant can't get enough. That's not a terrarium. That's a piece of paper. I know, but if you happen to take a closer look, you will realise that it is a terrarium. A terrarium generated through several iterations using Adobe Firefly because I'm completely out of ideas. You haven't come up with any ideas in three months? Who even is this guy? I'm going to unsubscribe. This is the image we were left with, which I was going to attempt to build in real life. To do this, I would need to match all the materials in the image to their real life counterparts. I instantly noticed that the terrarium was made up of one type of moss, which I quickly identified as pillow moss, as well as three other plants. To really gauge which plants were the closest to the ones in the image, I decided to brave the outside world and find them myself. I was looking for the moss, three plants, and two different types of rock. Now you're not going to find all these items in central London, because I looked. So using an unconventional transport method, I went to a park in search for the ingredients. First was a moss. Now I did find moss, lots of moss, but none was of the right sort. I looked around several parks for a long time, but couldn't find any of it. Feeling defeated, I just went to a plant shop instead. And good thing I did, because apparently, picking moss from the wild is illegal. Can I collect moss, you can? You should never collect moss from the wild! At the plant shop, I looked around until I found a match. Winter Savory, which I thought looked remarkably similar to this plant. I was struggling to find a match for the plant at the back of the terrarium, so instead, I replaced it with a chilli pepper to add some spice to the enclosure. I also found the two rock types, Scottish Tweed and Black Slate. But hey, th this video is a budget, you know? So I just picked rocks out of my garden instead. I returned with all the materials. Well, almost all of them. Don't worry, I have a plan. Now, I actually already had a terrarium which looked similar to the one in the image, but it eventually died, so I thought to repurpose it. I first cleaned it up, then removed the pump from the existing plastic terrarium. I was going to have to replicate the water feature, which interestingly looks like it's coming out of branch. I was stumped. Hilarious. To rectify this, I would have to root the plastic tube around the back, but that's a problem for future me. Right now, I was adding the Scottish tweed, creating a little elevation while keeping as few as possible near the front to mimic the image. The slate, however, proved to be difficult, as I wanted there to be as much water flow as possible while keeping to the image. Because of this, a healthy amount of superglue would be required to keep the slate in place, filling the cracks with crumbs of lava rock. Next, the pillow moss, and I realised that in one of my previous videos, I literally built a terrarium with both pillow moss and climbing fig, which looked very similar to this plant here. So I used the leftover pillow moss and inserted it into the proper positions. I then filled the terrarium up with water and tested the pump, but there was a problem. I couldn't curve the pipe, so the water was just splashing against the back, instead of running down the rocks. Therefore, I had to do something genius. I cut the tube at a 45 degree angle, then repositioned the head at a 90 degree angle. It's a little scuffed, but I didn't have many other options. And hey, it actually works. Back to the branch, which maybe defies physics just a little bit, but nothing a splodge of superglue can't fix. I found a branch that looked nearly identical, and sawed it down to size. Maybe too much, as it definitely was too small, but it gets the job done. It was time to add the plants. I took two cuttings of climbing fig from my paludarium and planted them in the back left. I also then cut off some winter savoury and placed that into the enclosure. In the image, it's in front of the branch, but in reality, there was no space for it to be in the front. To finish it off, I planted the improvised chilli pepper, which I actually do prefer. And there you go. It's not perfect, but it's an AI-generated image. It's not going to be perfectly replicable. Tell me how I did in the comments, and subscribe to see more.